Hi, hi, how are you? <clears throat> nice to see you. Hi, 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 hi. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi, hi. How are you today? Nice to see you. How are you? Can you hear me? My day was high because of work. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Ah, bah. okay. Okay, only three, my goodness, it's Monday. The traffic is usually difficult on Saturday, on Friday, on Friday, but on Monday, it's not that bad. How are you today? Nice, nice? Nice. Yeah? Or not so nice? How are you today? How are you? How are you? Fine. Fine, fine. Yes. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? No, fine, thank you. Great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I'm sure if everybody is here, <laughs> not everybody's here. We're missing couple of couple of people. We're still missing couple of people. When <clears throat> probably because of the traffic, I imagine. Mm -hmm. okay. When shall we see? Yeah. Shall we begin? Mm -hmm. Be ready to tell me present as I called you. A ver, Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Alexa Marcela. Alexa. No, here Alexa. No. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa, Andrei, Angie Melissa. Presente. Arely Isabel. Arely. Erling Melquisedec. Erling. Irma Noemi, Irma Irma, Carla Milena, Presente, Carla, ¿verdad? 
Sí, dice el presente. Carlita, la oigo ronquita todavía. Un poquito. Está difícil, ¿verdad? María Epifanía. María. Present teacher. Yes. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Yes. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel. Nancy. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Nancy, right? Okay, Nancy, please. Oscar. Sure. Hola. Present. Oscar. <laughs> Conectar. No, Erling Castro. Ah, Erling. Okay, Erling. Present teacher, Oscar. Oscar. Okay. Vamos a ver. Silvia Evelyn. Silvia. Silvia, Silvia. Úrsula. Present teacher. William Giovanni. Present teacher. Y quiero ver quiénes se han agregado después de que lo llame. Abner Adoni. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, sí. Alexa. Alexa Marcela. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Andrei. Arely Isabel. Hi, teacher. Hi. Arely. Eh, Irma Noemi. Miguel Ángel. Present, teacher. Irma. Irma. Ah, Arely. Hey, Irma Noemi, no here. Present. Ay, que le pregunté que si Irma me decía present y ya no me contestó. Ah, sí, desde la, la primera vez. El, el asunto es que yo los puedo ver a ustedes cuando estoy compartiendo pantalla, pero cuando no estoy compartiendo pantalla, se me cierra una ventana cuando estoy viendo la otra. Por eso es que cuando ven que les pregunto de regreso, porque no, no lo sé identificar sí, sí, sí. quién es hoy. No es por mala gente. No es por mala gente. A ver, Miguel Ángel. ¿Quién? No, ¿Quién? Silvia Evelyn. Silvita. No, ¿Quién? Ok. Faltan cinco. Faltan. ¿Verdad? How are you? Fine, fine. We are beginning unit number two today. And today we are going to be talking about demonstrative pronouns. Demonstratives. Let me share. Hoy sí ya lo voy a estar mirando. Yeah, talking about demonstrative, demonstrative pronouns. Uh, beginning week, beginning unit, right? Unit number two. Check. That's the that's the topic of today, the uh, demonstrative pronouns, right? And the objective says participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns correctly in a conversation in which someone is ordering a product from an online store. 
So you are going to make that conversation, right? And you're going to make that conversation ordering a product from an online store. And at the same time as you're ordering a product from a from an online store, you will be using the demonstrative pronoun. So what would you say, teacher? Yes, so the demonstrative pronoun. Yeah, right there. A ver, tell me, what methods, what are methods that customers can use to buy products in your workplace? What products do you sell or do you uh, do you sell products or services in your company to begin? Hmm? Do you sell products or or or, or service? What do you sell? Uh -huh. We are sales parts for sewing machines. Okay, so you buy you sell products then. Yes. How, how, or what are the methods that the people use for buying your products in your company, the ones that you sell in your company? Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, buy with uh, some catalogs uh -huh. and other for the model of the machines. Okay. Do you sell online? No. 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 So people have to go to your company. No, all uh, the company send us some PO and then we are made the doc the invoice and some documents and we are sending we are selling only for the free sons. Okay. Okay, okay. Nice. What about the others? In what methods? What methods do the people use? What methods do people use to buy products in your company? Uh -huh. What methods do they use? They buy online, they buy on the phone. So well, what do they do? How do they buy products in your, or they necessarily have to go to the store to be able to buy? Uh -huh. Can I participate? Sure. Okay. Uh, in my case, I don't sell anything in, in, in the, in the, in my work, in my job, but they sell, uh, serum uh, and the form that, that they sell is different they they have I don't know how can I say comerciales como centros comerciales no, ellos usan comerciales ah, commercials I was thinking okay. <laughs> ah, commercials they use commercials Ah, okay, they, well, they use advertising. Uh, for example, in in the radio, in the radio, uh, they use a uh, uh, a a common a common mm -hmm. commercial that it can be El Suero de la Vida se llama Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's very sticky, okay. right? Very easy for you to remember. Aha. Uh -huh. So they make they present commercials for people to do you make the commercials or you use the commercials for selling? I use the commercial for selling. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, look at this. We're going to and you said why so we're talking about the monster the why the ordinal numbers. We'll see why. Uh check. We have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, 
15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, right? 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. These are ordinal numbers. What, what is the purpose of the ordinal numbers? To follow order, right? The purpose of the ordinal number is to, to describe, we can say, the order of something. For example, if you say, where do you work? Well, I work on the fourth floor. I work on the second floor, or I work on the first floor, right, first. So these are numbers that we use for uh, giving an order, right? So you describe orders with them, right? Now, check this. Remember, so here we have the ordinal numbers, right? That's why I wanted to introduce them to you first. Check. When you are, uh, remember we were talking about the, the ways or the methods that people use when buying. Here we are talking about one of the methods. Let me get a pen. A pen. Here we have one of the methods and that's making an online purchase. But there are some steps that you have to follow when shopping online. Right? What are the steps that you have to follow when shopping online? We have eight steps here. What you have to do is put them into the correct order. You have credit cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the items or the item or the items to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your, your billing address. ¿Se acuerdan del billing address, verdad? Es la suya, la dirección suya, donde le van a llegar las cosas. Eh, check the price. Confirm the method of payment. Log in to your account. When you say the method of payment means if you're going to pay by cash or credit card. Or if you're going to use a check, right? So, um, what are the steps to follow? I'm going to send you to the, to the room for you to discuss with your partners, organize your ideas, why not? And let's see. <laughs> I'm going to paste the, the, the page. <coughs> <coughs> Ah, pero que no voy a hacer lo que hice la vez pasada, mandárselo con las answers. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to copy it from here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. So, 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 so. You can see it. Okay. Check, check, check. Let's see. I'm going to open the group, groups of four. Work together, put the, uh, the steps into the correct order. Five minutes, we check off. There you go. Join, join. Try to join the groups. Try to join, try to join. Nice. Nice, nice. Great. Vamos, Abner, Arlene, Sylvia, Nancy, and Oscar. Try to join. Hmm. Nancy, hello.
Uh, hola. Hi. I sent the picture to WhatsApp so you can see there. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Okay. ¿Cómo estamos? The first is go to the online web page. Um, sí, sería ese. Revisar la página web primero. The second uh, is Long into your account. Login. Okay, oh, sin ustedes. <laughs> Yes or no? Hello. Let's check the price. Permítame, mm. estoy leyendo. Ver, dice... Creo que sería select the shares. Tres. Go to the, to the online web page. Write your billing address. Uh, Check the price, confirm the method of payment, log in your account. Credit card information, confirm the information, and so on. Go to the online web page, log into your account. I think is select the items to purchase. And then is it can be check the price or change. Uh -huh. well, what do the others think? Select the items, check the price. Write your billing. Write your billing address. No, porque esa es para cuando ya te lo van a mandar. Y antes de eso, primero se ve, te pide los datos de... De la es que en la mayoría de páginas primero piden eh, la billing address por el costo de envío. 
Después de al total y ya colocas tu credit card information and later tu confirmas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, puede ser. Write your billing address. And then configure the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Ah, uh, yeah. And then it can be credit card information. No, I compare the method of payment, credit card information. Then, uh, in final, configure your information and submit. Yes. Making then write down the steps in order. Ahí estamos, estamos ready. Ready, okay. Voy a tomar una foto. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because if no, sí, it it let Erlin take a picture before. Are you ready? Ready. So <laughs> estamos lo de los números para decir first, second, third, fourth. De ya lo tenemos, teacher. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. The order. You know what order they go. Yes. Okay. Vamos. Let's go. Ahí está el cuadro, chicos. Ok. Okay. Vamos a ver, 30 seconds for everybody to be back. Let's see the first one. What's the first one? Go to the online web page. Mm -hmm. Second. Log into <clears throat> your account. Log into your account. Third. Select the items to purchase. Mm -hmm. Next. For thing, check the prison. The prison. Check the price. Yeah. Check the price. Yes. Fifth. 
write your billing billing address. Write your billing address. Mm. Confirm the method of payment first, and then write your billing address to see if that a uh, paying method of pay is acceptable where you live, right? There are some areas where a credit card is not acceptable. So we need to know first how you think or how you prepare to pay and then later on to see if your address, you can pay that way. Okay, what about seventh? <clears throat> Number seven. Credit cards information. Uh, credit cards information. And the last one? Confirm your information and should submit. Mm -hmm. Confirm your information and submit. Great. Any questions here? No questions. No questions? No. Not sure. Now let's enter to topic. Check. We remember I told you at the beginning we're using demonstrative pronouns today, right? So you have I want to buy this computer. This computer. We have that's only one computer, right? We check this cell phone on the web page. Only one cell phone. She's going to order that kit for her friend. Only one kit. That company wants to buy that lift. Which one? That one, but it's only one, right? And then on the light, on the side of the plural, we have you have to buy these shoes. This means or more right i want i have to buy these shoes he can pay with any of these credit cards so we have more than two options right we can he can pay with any of these credit cards they purchased those cars my co-workers sold those products those so remember, we use this and that for singular, <clears throat> and this and those for plural. Yeah, that's how you're going to use check. Uh, check the word that you have in bold, right? That's the noun. That's the noun that is going to, mo to be modified. So you say this shirt is blue. This shirt is blue. That lady looks worried. That lady looks worried. Uh, this, take these ones away. Take these ones away. Put those cups on the table. This shirt, how many shirts? How many shirts? Only one. Mm -hmm. Only one, right? Okay, that lady, which lady? How many ladies? Mm -hmm. How many ladies? One. one lady. One lady only, that one. Right there. These ones, when we use ones, we substitute, we substitute something. For example, if, if you say, you know what? Um, the shoes smell bad, <laughs> somebody says. 
take these ones away. So, llévate estos lejos, 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 right? This, take these ones, este ones puede estar sustituyendo cualquier palabra in plural, right? Put those caps on the table. And the demonstrative, the purpose of, of the of the demonstrative is to El se elogió el periquito saber qué vio. Ok. So we say. Eh, demonstratives. The demonstrative adjectives modify the pronouns. So when you say this. Which shirt? This one. Right? This. This one. Not that one. This one. Which cell phone? This one, not that other cell phone, right? Or which bag? That one, not this one. So the purpose of the demonstrative is to modify the noun, right? And when we use once, remember what I told you, once is once is substituting. Once is substituting the noun. So if we say, take these ones, these ones, okay. Take these shirts, take these shoes, take these bags, take these pants. Right? These ones. <clears throat> this and that. Remember what we said before. This and that are for singular. And this and those are for plural, right? They modify plural. So you have to be very careful on when to use them, right? When do you use this? When do you use those? When do you use that? So that singular, but far, very far. That's that. This is something is is near. This is the other. This for plural near, and those for plural things far. You will see something later on. So just look at this. These are this. Tell us the thing being modified is near, right? near, in time of space. Lo ocupamos también cuando hablamos de present, usamos this. Y cuando hablamos de pasado, por eso es que dice near in time, ¿verdad? No just in space, but in time. Si hablamos del pasado, usamos that. Or those, I remember those years, right? So you say those y those can be also used to talk about things that are very far. Okay, look at the example. This plate is hot. This tells us the plate is near. Can you see that ranch? That tells me that the ranch is not near, it is far. These flowers smell nice. These tell us the flowers are near. Do not approach those dogs. The dogs are far, right? They are not near. Okay, so these are called demonstrative pronouns. Any questions about them?
Any questions? Questions, questions. Mm? No questions. No. No. Sorry. Teacher. But look at these examples. This student is new. Acuérdense que es un, es, es, es un pronoun, ¿verdad? Los demostratives son pronouns and they modify, they modify eh, now. The student is new. That car over there belongs to the company. These students are near, are new. Right, ya no es solo uno, ya son más. I want to buy these, these shirts. I want to buy these two shirts. Those cars over there belong to the company. Those cars, which cars? The ones over there. <clears throat> Um, those cars over there, those, which cars? Those ones. <clears throat> Whose are those documents on the photocopier? Hmm? Which one? Whose? Uh-huh. Look at this photo. This man on the left is my uncle. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at this photo. This man on the left is my uncle. Cuando, cuando, eh, usted está mirando una foto. Cuando usted está mirando una foto, puede decir this, porque la foto, la gente está cerca, ¿verdad? This chair next to me is free. This chair next to me is free. O sea, no, no está ocupada, ¿verdad? No está ocupada. You can sit here. <clears throat> Look at this photo. This man on the left is my uncle. Oh, on this slide, you can see how sales increased last year. I love this sign. ¿Cuál son? La que está sonando. No la puede ver, pero la escucha, right? So I love this sign. That gentleman in reception has an appointment at 10. That one. Yo no estoy en la reception, right? Por eso digo that man. That gentleman. Whose is that bag on my desk? Whose is that bag on my desk? I like that green shirt in the window, please. Can you pass me that thing, please? Can you pass me that thing? Any question here about the structure, chicos? No questions? Mm-hmm. No questions. No? No questions? Sí, Sherry, puede repetir nuevamente lo que dijo de él, cuando se ocupan, cuando están como en pasado. Sí, o se ocupa, el que ocupamos en pasado es el that y el those. Cuando usted dice um, That was the year, that was the year when I, I graduated. That, un año o por supuesto que ya pasó, ¿verdad? That is the year when I graduated. That is the year when I finished high school. That is the year when everybody 
was happy. Entonces, podemos usar el this y el this to talk about present y to talk about things that are close to us. So you say, well, this year we are here. This year we have a new computer, right? This year we have a new employee in the company. This year, so present. But you can say these years, these months. We have to work harder these months, right? Estamos usando this como present. We have to run these days. Imagínese que su jefe le dice, ¿verdad? Que tiene un montón que hacer. We have to accelerate the job these days. These days está hablando del present. Entonces, por eso le decía... Aparte de ser usados estos demonstratives como para describir algo que está cerca en el espacio, también se puede utilizar para usar algo, o describir algo que está cerca en el tiempo, ¿verdad? En el tiempo. Y es lo mismo el caso del that. You say, that year, I, ¿qué? I started university that year. Dentro de un contexto, por supuesto. I, I remember. I started the university that year. That's talking about the past. I remember those years were easier. Hmm? Those years. Está hablando de años pasados. Ya. Yeah. Y si lo usamos en el espacio, cosas plurales que están lejos, dos. Y that, algo en singular que está lejos, no sé. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Vaya, ahora, check this. When we talk about different items, right? Like, for example, blouse, dress, scarf. Sweater, jacket, bra, jeans, este jeans es plural, panties are plural, t-shirt, shorts are plural, stockings, pants, shoes, porque no vamos a comprar solo uno, boots, the same, heels, flip-flops. Estos son la, los que les he puesto P es porque van a ser plural all the time, ¿verdad? That's for women's clothes. For men's clothes, we have baseball hats, a tie, a t-shirt, a, a shirt or a t-shirt, t-shirt, undershirt. Tell me. Eh, no sé si solo a mí, pero no me sale ninguna presentación. No sé si está compartiendo pantalla. Sí. ¿Qué pasó? Dejo de compartir este curso de repente. Aquí. Ahí está. Check it out. Sí. Vale, check. So we say baseball hat. That's for men. Right? Tie. Shirt. T-shirt. Undershirt. Jacket. Suit. Belt. Vest. Pants, best of chaleco, right? Eh, pants, pants are plural. Slacks, es otra forma de decir pants. Jeans, trunks, sneakers, shoes, and boots. Acuérdense que dentro de poco se van a hacer una conversación donde están comprando algo online. But can be clothes, can be whatever you want to buy, right? So these are some examples of women's clothes or men's clothes. And you look at the picture. Here we have a dress, gloves, a bonnet or a hat, a scarf, a blouse, a top, shorts, sneakers, 
boots, a bag, a jacket, right? Those are some of the items represented there in the picture. Any question here? No? No question. Teacher, uh, what does it mean the suit? Suit. A suit. I'm working. I'm working. A suit, sorry. Me quedé sin agua. Vaya, a suit es eh, cuando usted tiene una combinación de jacket and pants. Si tiene jacket and pants, eso es un suit. ¿Sería como un interizo o es un conjunto? ¿Mm? ¿Es como un conjunto? Es el conjunto. Jacket and pants. Ok. Uh -huh. Y ahí ya ese es, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ese es un suit. En este caso, este tipo que ve aquí, he's not wearing a suit, porque nada que ver la jacket, la halló por allí, y los pants, me imagino que se los halló por ahí también. ¿Verdad? No combina. Pero el suit es, es, combina, es algo que combina, es un traje. Es un traje, la, la, el saco va con los pants, ¿verdad? Si el traje no va así que pegue, entonces no es su. Thank you. Si no, no es su. Any question? Sí? No? Ok. Vaya, check. Talking about singular, right? Singular this. For near. Plural this. For near. Sí? Singular that. Or far, and plural those, or far. Esa es la, básicamente la representación que vamos a tener eh, respecto a, a esta structure. So check. That is my house. Si se fijan, la flechita está señalando para allá. Leer. That is my house. Those are pine trees. Those are pine trees. These are my books. Está más cerca, ¿verdad? These are my books. This is my car. And look at some more examples. These books are mine. This is my house. That's my car. Those are pine trees. These boys are my friends. Those birds are beautiful. Ve que una flechita señala así, porque es como que está aquí y el otro señala allá, porque es que le están demostrando que algo está lejos. Any question there? Question? No question, se me voy a poner en el chat. Chat, chat, chat. ¿Dónde están? ¿Dónde están? Okay. Yeah. Basha. So that is one. Remember this, this, that, those. Any question over there about this structure? Is that clear? Sí. Yo asumo porque como no me dicen que sí ni que no, asumo que sí. ¿Verdad? Bye. Near, y tienen el symbol, near y far. You're going to ask for uh, prices, right? How much is this? Cuando usamos o cuando estamos queriendo comprar algo, how much is this? How much is that? How much is this sweater? 
How much is this glass? How much is this cell phone? Aquí voy a poner cualquier item, ¿verdad? How much is this cell phone? How much is this blouse? Oh, it is twelve dollars. How much is that jacket? The black one is $100, while the brown one is $150. How much are those socks? Mm, the blue ones are $3 and the black ones are 4 Yeah. So you're going to work now in pairs. Practice asking questions with your partners about prices. And about things right now, concentrate only on prices. And you will ask, how much is that blouse? Which one? The white one? It's $12. And the red one? Hmm, that's $15. I'll take the white one. Okay, that will be $12. Okay, you will go practice the conversation. Uh, remember, change the words. Use the words that you want to use in your conversation, right? Okay. De acuerdo? Question, question, question. No question. Andamos mero callados ahora, criaturas. ¿Qué pasó? Pues? La teacher se pone brava cuando habla solo ella. Mentira, pero es cierto. Vale. Ahorita los mando a los grupos para que hablen ustedes. Yo lo voy solo a guachar y a oír. Ahí. There you go. Groups of four. The, the page that you will use is already in the chat. Check the WhatsApp chat so you can go out there. Join, join. Join, join. Try to join. Vamos, Andre. Try to join the group. Vamos, Abdel, Nancy, Cindy, Erlin, Oscar. Try trying. El ejemplo que. Hola, ¿entendieron? Eh, hola. 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 No, la verdad no. Ni yo. Alguien que comparta para que vean. Ahí en el chat les mandé el ejemplo. Ahí tienen otras cuatro o cinco opciones para que hagan otras conversacioncitas con las otras opciones. ¿Verdad? Ok. Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame. ¿Y ¿Esos ejemplos van a ser similares? Sí, solo cambien los precios. Solo los precios serían nada sí, más. Sí. Ok. Gracias. Bueno. ¿Alguien de ustedes que pueda compartir pantalla? Mm. Yo no puedo tener el teléfono. 
No, lo siento, tampoco yo no tengo computadora. Pero podemos copiarlo en un cuaderno para mientras sí, y después damos la respuesta. Sí. Por eso hagamos. Hay que colaborar sí. con los precios nada más. How much Ajá. is this? Podemos poner. Como solo se van a cambiar los precios, pongámosles un precio de, de 8 dólares. De 8 a, a 12. Sí, está bien. Dependiendo del el color. O la talla también puede ser. ¿no? Si es una blusa, igualmente con un pantalón. Un jean sería como de unos 15, digo yo. Sí, está bien. Ajá. Ajá, only change the prices. Ajá, solo digamos los precios y ya practiquemos para que levantar y responder. Ok. Deberían Hola. Hola. Para empezar la conversación. ¿Cómo podríamos empezar? Porque aquí estamos vendiendo. No, estamos. Uh -huh. Ajá, uno está vendiendo, el otro está comprando. Correcto. Ajá, ¿cómo empezaríamos? Ahí, eh, how much is the blouse? Blouse, blouse. Uh -huh. Y la otra contesta, eh, de, eh, which precio. one, cuál, ajá, cuál, y ya alguien más dice, which one, eh, ajá, which one, y ya luego alguien dice, el, one. de qué color la queremos, ajá, o, o si grande o chiquita o cuál. Color favor. That will be two and dollar. Que lo ajá. mismo se repite, ¿verdad? Sí. Según el modelo que dio ella, solo le vamos a estar cambiando, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y le vamos a poner uno con Dax y el otro así. con Dizzy. Ajá, si quiere usted un, un jeans o jacket. Solo tengo una duda. En el ejemplo queda cuando dice la flechita, ¿verdad? Ajá. Este, para abajo aquí sale que es Dizzy o Dizzy. Ah, y cuando pero... van hacia la hacia la derecha, perdón, es that mm -hmm. o dozen. Depende si es plural that o, o singular. Exacto. Así sería, teacher. Sí. Sí, la flechita para abajo le significa que está cerca. Y la otra es que está lejos. Dos are up. Cuando dice Con jeans. Sí. Sería el, el Jeans, doce, en verdad. Plural, ajá, exacto. Jeans es Serían plural. aquellos, doce. Y en el jacket sería des, en verdad. Jacket de singular. Ah, perdón. Jacket. This, that. This, verdad. Mm -hmm. mm. Pero ahí sería el des en verdad. Des, des serían los jeans. Y para el jacket serían dos. 
Para Jacket sería that o this. That o this, singular, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es singular, perdón, sí. En el plural nada más ocupamos el otro. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En el plural dice this and those. those. Shock. Um, ¿Qué era shock, teacher? Shock. Sock. Sock. Ah, socks. Calcetines. ¿Sí? Ah, calcetines. Son calcetines, sí. Ah, ok. Bye. Entonces, empezamos con los jeans. Con los jeans, ¿Sí? perdón. Vaya. That. So, yeah, how much, brother? How much? Mm -hmm. It's. Dawson. Those. Those jeans. Mm -hmm. Those jeans are. Which one? Or, Which o one? serían de en estos. Estos jeans, ¿verdad? Serían así mejor. Mm. That's no. No, a lo mismo casi. ¿Cuánto cuesta en okay. esto? That's one sería. Mm. How much is this and jeans? How much are these jeans? How much are these? Sí. This jeans. How much are these jeans? How much is? How much are? No. How, how much, much are or how much is? How much are the jeans? Podemos decir ahí. Ajá, ajá, pero ahí depende. Mm. Acuérdense, mm. tienen que ir cambiando de acuerdo a si es singular o plural. Uh, those jeans. How much are those jeans? Tienen que ver si son singular o plural, si están cerca o lejos. Mm -hmm. Ajá, how, much? how much? How much are? How much are those? Jeans? How much how are much those are jeans? Those jeans. How much are those the jeans? This is a watch. Which one? Which one? Which mm one? -hmm. Which one? Which the which one? It's a it's. Ah, pero it's a. Te le pregunta el color, verdad, teacher? Ah, no, pero eso es lo último, casi, bro. The white ones. Which one? No, the which one? The the blue, verdad? The blue ones. The blue ones. Which ones? The blue ones. The blue ones. Mm -hmm. sería the it's fifteen dollars. Uh -huh. And the and the brown and the black, mm -hmm. perdón. Uh, the black ones. The black ones. It is, it is sixteen dollar. Mm -hmm. Uh, takes the white the the uh takes the black, the black ones. The black ones. Okay, they would be fifteen dollar, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The wild. Pero está hablando de, de las blusas. Mm. De las blusas. Porque el jeans tiene 50, 60. Blue and black. Ajá. ¿De qué le brota? Eh, color, ¿verdad? De el blue, blue ones. Y pone este, this este, 15 dólares. Ah, uh, y le vuelve a preguntar el otro color, and the, the black ones, y ahí sería, this is, it is $60. Mm -hmm. 
y de ahí le responde de como dándole el ok de cuál es el color I takes the blacks blacks ones y como responde ah ok that's thousand dollars thousand dollar okay okay, okay. Um, okay. Um, the black one three thousand dollars okay. mm. I'll take the blue one okay two thousand dollars Okay, okay, that will be two thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. One more time, please. Go ahead. Okay. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How can I help you? Thank you. I want to know how much is that car? Which one? The blue one. It is $2,000. Okay. And the black one? It is $3,000. Ah, okay. Hmm. I will take the blue one. Okay, it's two thousand dollars. Okay. All are two thousand dollars. Thank you. What? Todo vale two thousand dollars. No, no. No. Three thousand dollars in the, the blue one. The blue one. The blue, blue one. Two thousand. Two thousand dollars. And yes. the black one costs three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. Ah, okay. But I decide for the for the blue one. It is cost yes. two thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. One thousand dollar is different. Only one thousand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finished. 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 That's all the shift. Okay. Nice, nice. Vamos a ver one more group and then I call it back. How are you doing? Are you ready here? Yes, sure. Sure. Ready, ready, everybody? Mm -hmm. right.
everybody coming. Okay, will we be my volunteers. Volunteers. Mm -hmm. Andre, excellent. Go ahead. Uh, Iniciamos ya, teacher. Yes, let's begin. Teacher, no sé si yo entendí. Era hacer el ejemplo con cada una de las de la imagen que estaba ahí, ¿sí? Sí. O se podía con cualquier otra. Podían usar otras, podían usar las que estaban ahí, no problem. Okay. The idea is that you use the structure. Ajá, yes. Entonces, eh, cualquiera de esas, porque pues la de la blusa ya estaba ahí. Ajá, exacto. Eh, seguiríamos entonces con la siguiente, que sería, how much is that jacket? Uh, uh, it's uh, blue. Ah, uh, perdón. It's black. One hundred. And the brown jacket uh, is one hundred fifty. Okay. La digo toda, Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Next sería socks. How much are these socks? Uh, there are socks and uh, blue socks. And it's three, and black socks is four dollars. Okay. And the last is uh, jeans. How much are those jeans? There are. Mm, and blue jeans. The blue ones. Mm -hmm. Is fifty, and the black jeans is sixty dollars. Exactly. So you say the blue ones are fifty dollars, and the black ones are sixty dollars. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, easy. Yeah, it's easy. Let's share the screen. Now look at this. Here we have a couple of sentences. Uh, look at them, please, and choose the correct option. Remember, singular, plural, near, far, right? That's something that you have to take into account. Singular, plural, near. Okay. Go ahead. Singular, plural, near, far. Let's see the number one. It's necessary to follow those. 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 Those, sí, those steps. It's necessary. We follow excellent, Andre. It's necessary to follow those steps. Uh, number two, I think that I want to buy. To buy that big desk. I like that's it. big. Number three, do you want to buy this? This refrigerator. It comes in four different colors. And number four. I'm going to buy this. This. This two tablets with with this card. 
Mm -hmm. With this credit card. Nice. Nice, nice. Any question here? Any question? No question. No teacher. Okay. Tapasi data. Va check. This is another example of conversation, right? So you have, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Mm, this? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue on, that blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, so here you see somebody buying something. Oh, in a store or in a magazine, right? Now I have another conversation for you. Check. This is to give you ideas, right? At the moment you create your own conversation. Check. Uh, look at these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the blue one better. The blue one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's, one, it's more stylish than the blue one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no. That's okay. That takes it. You're welcome. Okay. So you have there two example conversations, right? And later on, remember the purpose is that you will make a conversation um buying something online but at the same time using this that this and those and here you have the two conversation two examples right now check let's do this let's do this and then you will go to work together in the in the activity that you will work together in the conversation um, okay, let's see. Do you want to buy cake? This. This tablet. Do you want to buy this tablet? Do you want to buy this tablet? Yes, I want to buy the black one. My friend and I are interested in one, or are interested on, sorry. My friend and I are interested on what? On this makeup or on that makeup? Hmm? Maybe this? My friend and I are interested on This makeup. On this makeup or on that makeup? Check out part B, ¿verdad? Dice the small box. That's. That. Exactly. On that makeup. You can add.
Doce. Mm -hmm. Those four sweaters. Remember that is those. Right? Those. You can add those four sweaters to the chart. Okay, but uh, can I take two? Now, uh, can I? Can I see? Those, those jeans. Yeah, can I see those jeans? Sure, what size? Did you bring this, this, or we can use that? Let's say, yeah, you can use any of those. Let's use this. Did you bring this package? Yes, I did. Number six, I had to go to buy those new books. Those? Yes. Okay, those new books in the library. I'm going with you. Okay, any questions? Questions? No. No picture. Okay. Not your turn. Create a conversation with a partner. One of you is a customer and the other is an agent. That's that. Pretend you want to order something online and you describe the agent, the product that you are seeing on the internet. Okay. Go ahead, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to work together and create your conversation. I'm sorry. I'm going to make new groups. Loki, Loki, there you go. Try to join. Uh -huh. Try to join the groups. Your partners are waiting for you. Maria, Solita, Irma, vamos. Y Oscar, que María está solita. Nice. Erling. Erling, Erling, Erling se me perdió. Nice, nice, nice. Vaya, de chico, chicos. He leído el cerebro. <laughs> okay, work in my... <laughs> Dice que vamos a hacer una conversación de alguien que compre en línea. <laughs> You want to order something online? Do you describe the agent, the product you are sending on in internet? Okay. Lo podemos poner en el chat. Ah? Podemos en el chat. De crisis. Pueden compartir pantalla, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Que vayan escribiendo, sí, mejor. Y ya después, okay. o la van escribiendo en un documento de Word. 
Porque acuérdense mm. que en el chat, cuando yo lo llamo, se les pierde todo. Sí, se pierde. Mejor en el cuaderno, Irma, o en... Eh, en o en página. Word, en una hojita de Word, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, teacher. Love, teacher. Bye, bye. Eh, tenemos una duda. Bien, Me sí. perdí un momento por... Tenemos que hacer una conversación, bro. Ajá. You will make a okay. conversation. Uh, you want to buy something online. So one person is the one, the agent, the one selling online, and the other one is the one that is buying. Okay. Imagine that you are describing to the to the person uh, what you want to buy, or you can be you, or you can use a catalog too right online to to see the products or the things that you want to buy and you share that with your partner así como la vaya si yeah. no quieren que uno se la gente pueden poner que uno es su amigo como son tres verdad son yeah. dos amigos tratando de comprar algo online Teacher, y ahí siempre es para usar el this y el Sí, tienen que usar el this, el that, el this y el dos. Y, y en ese caso, ¿qué, qué es online? Como, lo, el, como el catálogo está online también. Uh -huh. Entonces, como que usted le dice, you know what, I want to buy this. Oh, I want to buy this pan. Pero en ese caso usamos el, el lejos, el que es cuando está lejos. Usted podría usar this y el otro que está al otro lado podría usar. Ah, pero that uh -huh. is, uh -huh. Porque lo que esté cerca para usted podría estar lejos para él. O lo que esté. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, Alexa. Hola. Casi sería como el ejemplo anterior de lo que hicimos. Exacto. Uh -huh. Similar. Ok. ¿Quién dice No sé quién dice eh, Como sea. Okay. Vamos a saludar. <ríe> claro. Ok. ¿Quién compra? ¿Y quién vende? Si sí, tú sabes, yo puedo vender y compra. Como, como que tú hablas, como, ah, no, como esta línea, como que tú estás comprando. Ajá. Ok, okay eh, hello. Yeah. Eh, Go ahead. Ok, hello. Um, no. I want I want buy this 
this blouse? How much is the blouse? Wrong. Me puedes preguntar ahí, which one? Sí, sí. Así es. Which one? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, the red one, please. It is. Ah, ahí me dice el precio. El precio más o menos. Ajá, que sería it y, y el precio. It is. Como Juan. ¿Cuánto lo podemos poner? Mm, unos 15 dólares. En línea es más barato. <ríe> 15 dólares. It is 15 dólares. Ajá, uh, it's 15 dólares. Y entonces te vuelvo a preguntar en the yellow one y me das otro precio. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. It is... Twenty dollars. Okay. Twenty dollars. Take... What? Y al final sería I will take the red one. ¿O qué color dije al inicio? No me acuerdo. Sí, red dije. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. It's... I will take the the red one. Okay, it is twenty dollars. Okay, thank you. Ay, no sé si la hacemos más largo, me puedes preguntar si quiero algo más. <laughs> A ver, te preguntaré si quisieras algo más. Uh -huh. yeah. ¿Cómo sería? Uh -huh. Okay, please let you is the what do you like Sony Field? Or is there algo más? To say the oh yes, how much is the jeans? Te pregunto cuánto cuestan esos jeans. Seguimos igual con la misma. Ay, solo hasta ahí. Ajá, como para utilizar el dat también. Y nos quedamos ahí, solo me dices el precio. Ok, thank you. Y ya, para no hacerlo tan largo. Ok. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, online. Remember that you're buying online, right? What other aspects should you include because you're buying online? Ok, entonces ahí lo vamos a decir. Ok, yo te envío la transferencia. <laughs> <laughs> ok. <laughs> Okay. Something. Yeah. Oh. Practicamos ya. Uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, hello. How much? ¿Qué dije? Al inicio dije que quería de algo. Eh, hello, I want a... Okay. Podemos empezar como que... Oh, no, 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 no. No. Sí, sí. Dije, ¿Sí? solo cuánto costaba? Dije que quería algo. 
me preguntaste que cuánto costaba el la, la camisa el la rojo blouse. primero ah, uh -huh. okay. esta roja. hello how much is this blouse hello Alexa hello it is it is fifteen dollars uh -huh. ahí me preguntabas tú which one cuál which one ah sorry sorry yeah, yeah. which one Uh, the red one. It is fifteen dollar. Ah, okay. In the yellow one. It is twenty dollar. Okay, I will take the red one. Okay, it is twenty dollar. Would you like something else? Oh, yes. How much uh, that things? It is $14. Okay, thank you. Tendré la transferencia. Ajá, o me puedes preguntar eh, como, como, como tu forma de pago. Ya, como se dice. ¿Cuál sería tu forma de pago? Ajá. Okay. Yo creería que me puede decir quizás nada más eh, your payment is credit card o transfer. No, no, es más práctico. ¿Cuál sería tu forma Ajá. de pago? Ya, yeah. uh -huh. yeah, so payment has, has changed. Ajá. Hello. Hello, teacher. Solita está en la luz. ¿Ah? Solita está. Eh, no está Angie y Silvia. Did you finish? Eh, sí, si sí, gusta. Y agregaron los métodos of payment y todo eso. Hicimos una pequeña teacher. No, ya está acá. No sé si quiere. Ah, no. <ríe> si quiere ah. escuchar y de ahí nos dice si, si agregamos más. A ver. Ok. No sé si Angie está disponible. Sí, bueno, aquí estoy. Ve. Si quiere, empiece ah. a usted. But, okay, I'm looking for a blue jeans. Perdí la imagen. Ah. Es serio. Del chat. Ajá. Yeah. What seeds are you looking for? Okay, medium seeds. Medium size. Those pants, how size. much? Size. Okay, medium size. Sorry. Those pants, how much? $20. Okay. How much is that pink jacket? That pink jacket, how much? $50. I bought this jacket and those pants. Okay. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. How will you pay? By cash or credit. Y puede agregar. How will you pay? ¿Cómo? How will you pay? By cash or credit. ¿Cómo pago? Agregue efectivo con tarjeta de crédito. 
Ah, ok, la forma de pago. Exacto. Ah, ok. Okay, um, what is the form of payment? How would you like to pay? What is your payment? Uh, credit card. Okay. I in cash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sería, what is your billing address? It's a uh, San Salvador, three, four, five, six. Oh. <laughs> That's a very um, easy to remember in direction. Y para terminar, como order, has been sent, oh, uh -huh. has been sent. Okay. Hasta ahí sería. Ajá, uh -huh. how much will be? How much is it? Acuérdense que están comprando online, ¿verdad? Que ustedes ah, okay. tienen que asegurarnos, exacto, tienen que asegurar. Um, sería Thirty five. The free with the free shipping. We should. How would you like to pay by credit card, by cash? How? Where, where else?
No sé día para here? terminar. Just finish. The call information. No hallamos cómo terminar la conversación. Could you, can, could you give me the credit card information? Okay. 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 Don't forget the billing address too. Okay. Ay, qué falta eso. Entonces primero sería, could you give me the your billing address? The billing address. O se le envío a se lo envío a su a su dirección solo me corrobora uh -huh. ah este sería entonces eh, luego tú me dices ok could you give me the billing address entonces ahí confirmo oh. la dirección guardar fresco guardar fresco guardar fresco Uh -huh. My billing address is. O envíeme la, uh, mi dirección de no, la gift card. De un, o de un solo, entonces, ahí con tu país. Can you send me? Can you send How would you like to pay? I say to me others. Uh -huh. Pero si ella no sabe cuál es la dirección, hay que darse. Por eso es que ella pregunta, could you give me the billing address? Okay. Contestamos. Ok, my billing address is lo de Colón, por ejemplo. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Entonces, de ahí, de, pues, de confirmo la dirección. Eh, confirmamos eh, el método de pago. Uh -huh. so, well, entonces, sería, what is your address? ¿Cuál es su dirección? Bro? Ah, what, ¿Cuál es? Eh, sería, what is dirige? your the billing address. What's the billing address? Mm, the billing address is the direction donde se va a enviar el producto. Sí. Entonces, después de que confirma la dirección de envío, lo de Colón, que se tendríamos que confirmar el método de pago. Ajá, o sí. de un solo, como, como es en línea, no sé si de un solo crédito. Sería, entonces le ponemos solo en la pregunta, su método de pago sería eso. Ok. Sería you pay met, met. Confirm. cards or cash for delivery. ¿Cómo sería contra entrega, teacher? When it gets to you. 
When it, when, gets, when, it, when it gets to you. When it gets to you. When it gets to you. Pero digamos que si, si ella, ella me pregunta que confirme el método de pago, entonces yo cómo le contesto when I get, when I get Ah, no, pago, no. ¿Cómo sería? El, el método de pago sería cash or credit card. Ah, ah ok. Ah, ok. Entonces, cash o eh, credit card, ¿verdad? Cash entonces, credit. le ponemos cash. Exacto. So how would you pay? We using cash or pay cash? Cash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pongamosle cash. El último paso sería confirmar la información. Pero como estamos hablando con la gente, con la agente, entonces, ¿puedo you, you confirmar el método de payment? Cash. Okay. Okay. So we'll receive. So roll it in two in two days, for example. Mm -hmm. Today, yes. In two days, uh huh. Yeah, I have a phone. Okay. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're ready, right? Mm, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Vaya, empezamos, Goya. Ahorita, ahorita. ¿Oíste? Ya, Goya. Sí. Let's go. Ya lo capturaron, ¿verdad? Usted lo anotó en el, en, el, en el libro, ¿verdad, Úrsula? Te lo tiene escrito, ¿verdad? Ok, comenzamos. I want to listen to a volunteer. Who will be my volunteer? Only one, only one volunteer before we leave. Who, 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 who? A ver, Oscar Humberto, give me a number from one to four. From one to four. No está Oscar, ¿verdad? A ver, María, give me a number from one to four. Number two. Number two. Vamos a ver quiénes serán number two. Y sale que era María. No, ¿verdad? 
Ana, Luisa, Angie, Abner y Silvia. Go ahead, chicas, salieron favorecidas. Vaya, share with us before we call attendance and leave. Ana Luisa, Angie. tenemos que tenemos que decir la conversación, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, no sé si Silvia creo que está o Ana para leerla. Silvia, Silvia. Que está un poco mal de la garganta, okay. pero no es el intento entonces. It's ok. Ok. Tiene, sí. la, ¿tiene la conversación. Sí, tengo, pero ya los otros mensajes que agregamos el método de pagos, sí, ya no lo tengo. Ah, pues si quieres, solo lo que anotó. O oh, sí, sí, aquí lo tengo. Ah, vale. vale. Entonces, este, yo soy la dos. Ah, vale. Hello, I am looking for a blue jeans. Eh, What size are you looking for? Medium size. Those, those pants, how much? 20? How much are those pants? How much? How much are those, those pants? pants? Uh -huh. How much is that pink jacket? That pink jacket? How much? Um, 15? How much dollars? It? No le dé el precio si le está preguntando cuando vale, ¿verdad? Mm. Le dice el precio y ella ya no le va, que le va a responder ella. Then how much is <laughs> It is 15. Okay. Huh? I, buy, I buy this jacket and those pants. Okay. What is your payment method? A credit card. What is, what is your billing address? It is San Salvador. Uh, three one five zero. Your order has been sent. Okay, thank you. Hey, nice, nice. Any questions? No questions. No question. No question, question, question. Gracias. Bueno, let's go. This is our last attendance of the day. Quiero ver. Así decía el ciego y no miraba de aquí. Vaya, Abner Adoni, present. Abner. Alexa Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Andre. Angie. Present teacher. Nice. Good Angie. Present. Arely. Present teacher. Erling. Present. Y usted de repente lo perdimos, niño. Me, Me ha estado fallando el internet, teacher. Oh, I see, I see. Irma Noemi. Present, teacher. Carla Milena. La Carlita. Carla. Se perdió, Carla. Eh, María 
Marie. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Bueno, Miguel Ángel no estuvo otra vez, ¿verdad? O oh, sí. Yo no recuerdo haberlo visto en ningún grupo. ¿Verdad que no? Nancy. Present. Vaya. Yes. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. And William. Present teacher. Hoy se queda conmigo. Hoy es día número seis. Arely. Arely, la gente de la semana pasada no se quedaron. Arely, eh, mañana, mañana le toca a Erling, el miércoles a Irma, el jueves a Carla y el viernes a María. Oye, y ya vamos a ver al final si se logran quedar dos de los que no se quedaron la semana pasada. Porque la semana pasada... Sí, ok. una pregunta. Yo no escuché mi nombre llamado Alicia. Que no lo llame en la tienda. André y Pardo. Sí, lo llamé. Pero no me dijo por eso. No, no escuché, escuché en internet. Vaya, este, vamos a ver, recuerden, si alguien no se puede quedar, diga y, y a ver si alguien más se queda en su lugar, ¿verdad? Para que me dejen al final. Bueno, bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. A dormir mucho. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye See you, see you. Hi, Adeline, how are you? Good, teacher. Nice, nice. Yes. Tell me, how are you? Sí. Do you have any questions about the topic? Uh, Bien. Uh, Any questions? Y, bueno, así en español. ¿Y esto son preguntas, teacher, o cómo es que no lo entendí? Sí, no, aquí me dice si tiene alguna duda, si tiene alguna pregunta. Es más para aclarar dudas. Ah, Ajá, por eso. No, ahorita no, no tengo dudas, estoy bien. Escucho, no tengo problema. Así como lo lamento solo los, por el audio. ¿no? Es tan fácil en los temas, ¿verdad? Sí, es que, es que en ocasiones yo en vez en cuando practico el inglés. Ajá, por eso yo no pregunto mucho, porque ya lo sé algunas pronunciaciones, no del todo, porque todavía sigo, sigo descubriendo algunos verbos que es difícil de pronunciar como pasado, presente y futuro. Exacto. De los temas que usted ha visto del going to, ya lo sé, sé manejar unas oraciones igualmente con el will, igualmente con el das. Eso sé poco, no le digo lo puedo llevar muy bien, es poco lo que manejo eso. Y ya utilizando un poco de... Sí, y es que así es, ¿verdad? Poco a poco hay cosas que, que podrán ser nuevas. Y ahí es de aprovechar, de preguntar, pero si algo es, es, es como no nuevo, digamos, es más fácil de, de conocer. Ajá, sí, por eso no pregunto mucho porque hay, hay cositas que yo he visto así, así estudiando así tutoriales que poco a poco van saliendo, me han quedado unas pequeñas palabras, no le digo todo, no, voy poco a poco. Ajá, eh, lo pero, único ¿verdad? también que, ajá, ajá, lo no único que a mí me cuesta, 
Sí, eso sí, igualmente, así como le comento, que igualmente en la, lo que sí me cuesta un poco más es la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Porque hay otros que suenan casi idéntico y eso es lo que... Entonces, de pronunciarla, cuando uno quiere decir la pronunciación correcta, pero se, se pasa a otra que no es, pues, sí. eso es. Pero eso no, prefiero pero cuando, más. Cuando tenga dudas, pregunte hoy. Cuando tenga dudas. Ok, ajá, ahorita con la duda de su clase no tengo ningún problema. Ok, perfecto. Ajá, por eso les, les pregunto a, la, a mis compañeros que si tienen dudas, si entendieron, yo, yo les digo a ellos que yo les puedo ayudar en un momento de opiniones si no entendieron. Exacto, eso es bien importante, el poder apoyarse mutuamente, ¿verdad? Porque a veces ajá. Eh, ellos podrán tener alguna duda, pero no les da pena. O cualquier cosa. Ajá, porque ellos me preguntan, ajá, sí, porque ellos me preguntan, no entendí mucho en inglés, yo se lo digo, sí, en español, para que ellos me logren escuchar. No les digo que puedo del todo, solo sé, sé unas cosas que entiendo, pues, y eso les digo yo a ellos, que pongamos esto y empiezan a organizar la conversación. Exacto. Y les empieza a ayudar a todo el mundo. Ajá, ajá, así hago yo. Ajá, es que así es, ¿verdad? Poquito, poquito a poco, cuando viene a sentir ya, pues, se ha aclarado todas las dudas, ¿verdad? Es poner en práctica también lo que se va viendo. Eso es otro aspecto super, sumamente. Ajá, por eso. Ajá. ¿Y usted cómo ha sentido? ¿Está fácil? ¿Está difícil? Usted. Bueno, y, bueno, no le puedo decir tan fácil, no, es que yo lo siento normal, pues ni tan fácil ni tan difícil, para mí es normal, porque así como le comento, yo sé unas cositas y hay otras palabras que son bien desconocidas para mí al momento de pronunciación, ahí me quedo como pensando y ahí después lo empiezo a investigar qué significa, Así voy poco a poco, ajá, para que uno vaya aprendiendo al momento de utilizar las palabras o combinarlas en oraciones también. Exacto, eso. Es que es ir usando el nuevo vocabulario también para que no se, para que no se olvide. Ajá, en sí, eso sí, en ocasiones hay que hacer una, que sea una tarea de, de, cinco, de cinco letras, repetir la misma letra sí. para que uno poco a poco se la vaya quedando. Es que exacto. Eso es lo que Ajá. eso es lo importante, el poder ir poniendo en práctica el nuevo vocabulario para que no se le... Vaya, pues Ajá, la, eso entonces, es... ¿verdad? Para que vaya y descanse, Arely. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. Then, uh, See you. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome.